Hello guys, in this video I would like to show the new functions I've integrated into Deep Sky Camera App for Android Update 150. My name is Michael Seeberger Weichselbaum and I'm the developer of the Deep Sky Camera App for Android. Well, Update 150 is a very, very huge update. Um, I've changed a lot. Uh, lots of things um, has been rewritten, especially code, let me call it under the hood. Um, but I've integrated also some new functions and of course I did bug fixes and here are the details. First, the new functions. Um, you can have a, a grid, you can um, lock focus, and you can have a sorting function uh, within the internal file browser. You can have a zoom function. Um, there is extended support for the new OnePlus 8 model. Um, and uh, the supported devices contains now the number of supported phones and the latest updates. And the info dialog uh, contains also the chipset if the information is available. So let's dive into the details. The grid. Um, in update 150, you can have a grid. I show you how to do it here. Tap on the icon uh, very close to zoom here. Tap one. Uh, this is a very rough grid. The grid is very useful when you want to align the phone to a horizon or you want to align to a roof or to any other line. So I can demonstrate. I must reduce the exposure time of the viewfinder a little bit. Okay, here you see a piece of paper. Uh, the focus is not really good so here we are and now you can align the phone on a tripod or on a telescope mount that's much more better uh, you can have also a rough uh, a very fine grid that's this one or tap again the logo and the grid is gone okay that's the grid the second new function is lock focus one major problem um, is the slider here on the right. Um, when you attach the phone to a telescope or to a tripod, you can touch the slider by accident and the focus value changed. This is not really a, a nice thing. So again, this is the, uh, this is the correct focus value. And by tapping on the word focus here, upper right corner, the focus is locked, means the slider is gone. And when you try to push the volume plus or minus button, you can see here the focus value does not change. So the focus is locked. And now you can safely attach the, the phone to a telescope or to a tripod or to whatever. And um, the focus value will always be the same. So you can unlock the focus by tapping on the word focus again. And here you have the slider and you can control the focus, of course. That's the focus lock. The next function, which is new to uh, Deep Sky Camera, is a sorting function within the internal file browser. So when I tap here at the icon, a list of the images, which is in the directory, pops up, but it was not sorted in the past. Now you can sort the, this list. Uh, please tap three dots upper right corner, uh, a very small me menu uh, pops up and tap sorting and here you can set the type of sorting. My favorite one is by date and time and you can set the direction of sorting, ascending or descending. 
I mostly use descending means the latest picture is at the top and the oldest picture is at the bottom. So when I go up, uh, go back, you see here the latest picture I've taken is at the top. I tap on the uh, uh, file name and here, here you see uh, some stars and probably an airplane crossing. Okay, that's the sorting. You can, I go back to the sorting dialog. Uh, you can choose, of course, sorting by file name or by file type or by file size, what you want. So it depends on you what you need. Okay, that's the sorting function. The next thing um, is the zoom function. Zoom was available in yeah nearly every version of Deep Sky Camera app for Android, but in update 150, um, the zoom is also applicable to the images. In the past, the zoom function was applicable only to the um, uh, viewfinder, but now uh, you can use the zoom also on the images you want to take. So here at the top you see zoom is off and there's a new settings option here on the settings page. It's called digital zoom here. And you have three options. Off means zoom is off. Um, viewfinder only means that the zoom is applicable only to the viewfinder. And viewfinder images, this option means that uh, the zoom is applicable to the viewfinder as well as to the images you want to take. So I demonstrate that. I go back to main screen. And uh, yeah, we have here the piece of paper. I zoom in a little bit. Okay, here we are. I change the focus a little bit. Okay, so RAW plus JPEG. Exposure time is set to preview. That's okay. ISO is a little bit high, but it's the same thing as the viewfinder. So I take two frames and one, two, three. So let's wait a couple of seconds and you will see that uh, you have the zoom also in the images. So you can see the preview at the bottom. Okay, I tap on the icon and here you see a couple of pictures I've taken. And as you can see here, you see a picture with a zoom. But there's an important thing. Zoom works only for JPEG. The raw files does not have a zoom. This is not a bug here. You see the DNG file and it doesn't have a zoom. So this is not a bug. Uh, this is a feature of Android. Um, Google defined the zoom function in a way that is only applicable to JPEG files, not to DNG raw files. So we have to live with that. Okay, um, that's the zoom. Uh, the next new function is extended support for the new OnePlus 8 model. It was released in April. Uh, OnePlus 7 runs, the app runs very good on OnePlus 7 and uh, same thing with OnePlus 8. Uh, the next new function is here in the supported devices. Here in the menu, you have two new information here at the top number of supported smartphones, 268. And last update, that's the late, uh, the, the date and time of the update in the database. And at least here in the info dialog, you can have the CPU if you have the information about the CPU. So uh, that's the new functions. And now uh, I would like to turn over to the bug fixes. The first bug fix I've integrated or uh, I did it, I did um, was editing number of frames did not work on some devices here. That's this one under some specific circumstances. 
and on some specific devices uh, changing the numbers did not work the, that's fixed now and of course it runs on every device now uh, the second thing on some uh, smartphones especially on some specific Samsung devices like A50 and A6 plus the images were green like this uh, this bug is fixed and uh, the images are not green anymore uh, the next bug fix uh, is uh, let me call it one second bug on Xiaomi devices on Xiaomi when you've set the exposure time of the preview to one second oh that's not really one second here so uh, set it to one second when you set the slider at the top to nearly one second and you start taking pictures uh, a xiaomi device didn't take pictures anymore uh, the app run and it looks like the app takes pictures but the app didn't take pictures this bug is fixed and uh, now you can set the exposure time to max and uh, it runs on every Xiaomi device. Um, the next thing I've integrated uh, or I fixed, I did extra code for Xiaomi Pocophone F1. The Xiaomi Pocophone F1 is a very, very special phone. It's not like the other Xiaomi devices, it's very special. And that's why I've decided to move code from the code for Xiaomi devices uh, to a new code branch um, for only Pocophone F1. Um, it's an improvement, let me say it under the hood, but everything works fine on Pocophone F1 now. And at least uh, on some devices, and that's really strange, the navigation bar here at the top with the sign with the three signs was not mm, dark was not black when switching to night mode this happened only on samsung s9 and lg g7 and maybe on one or two other devices uh, it is fixed of course and now the night mode is a real night mode so at least the improvements I did, uh, two major things. Um, first of all, I've, uh, I did lots of improvements for Samsung S20 models, uh, S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra. Um, and the code I did for Samsung S20 works, will work for uh, the upcoming Note 20 and Note 20 Plus, I'm very confident and this is a really really good improvement under the hood you don't see it you don't feel it um, but the improvements are there and at least i've deleted lots of old code especially i've removed uh, support for the old and outdated camera api deep sky camera app for android supports only camera 2 api and some specific apis but not the old camera API anymore. Okay, guys, these are the new things, the new functions, improvement and bug fixes in uh, update 150. Hope you like it. See you in the Play Store or in Huawei App Gallery. Hope you like the app and see you later. Bye-bye.